not quickie. As everyone who gets their legal knowledge from Law & Order knows, the insanity defense is a horrible technicality that lets clearly guilty offenders blow smoke in front of a stupid jury and get off scot-free. The first clue is, you shouldn't be getting your legal knowledge from Law & Order. Legally, a criminal is insane if his reasoning is so defective he couldn't understand the nature and quality of the act he was carrying out, or was unable to conform his conduct to the requirements of the law. Far from being this easy technicality, the insanity defense is only attempted in less than 1% of felony cases, and of those, it's only successful about 26% of the time. And most of those successes were plea bargains. Also, 90% of the time, defendants had a previously diagnosed mental illness. And they don't exactly get off scot-free. A successful insanity defense means that you get incarcerated in a psychiatric institution for an indefinite period of time, just until it's determined that it's safe for society for you to return to your life. The fact is, people acquitted by an insanity defense spend twice as much time institutionalized as they would have served if they'd been convicted. An insanity plea is by no means an attempt to get off scot-free.